Oh <laughs> my people, another video is finally out. <laughs> another video I finally come out regarding what is happening in the political zone, you know, since when they conducted the election. I neck I'll be doing Superman in the tribunal. But I neck I finally see trouble now as Peter Abbey brother have finally come out to reveal what he's doing to I neck at the moment. I neck Shama, the person of my mom Yakubu, is in serious trouble in the hand of Peter Abbey brother now. I would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video. This guy has finally come out. Since when they conducted the election, he never come out to say anything regarding the electoral team. But this guy said everything. What they are going to do to INEC Chairman, what Mama Yakubu is going to face, is going to pass a mayfield on. This guy's scatter table. He shake things. I would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, ensure you share it. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, like it. Give it a thumb up so that YouTube will recommend it for us. We then stay connected. Coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I don't have violence for you today. To the home of religious gossip. And boy, you should leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lachibong. Hello guys, welcome back to Lipo Watch TV. For those of you that are coming across this channel for the very first time, make sure you click the red subscription button that is appearing under your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in first time, YouTube will easily notify you. The update I have for you today is regarding what is happening in the political zone. You know, this is where they conducted the election, it luck keep happening in the political zone. It is no more the news that in course of the election, a lot of things happen. I neck promise heaven and they promise Nigeria credible election i next chairman mama yakubu made a lot of promise in different press conference in different interview in chatham house and all of that where they interview i make and the other presidential candidates of different parties you know everyone believes that i are going to deliver in course of the election but mama yakubu put nigerians on scale and after putting them on scale he fed them down on a single plane you know since when they conducted the election, it's no more news that during the election day there were voters intimidation, there were voter suppression, and there were voters bullying. In different places all across the nation, talks coming now to bully people. Vote for this party, don't vote for this party. A lot of things happen in the course of the election. If you are not voting for APC, go back to your house. Those are the common terms of the talk in Lagos State precisely. So they injured a lot of voters and there is an election where the voters believe that they are going to speak out loud with their vote. They are going to come out of this economic slavery in Nigeria just for them to have a good government. But I next chairman betrayed the trust that Nigerians put on him. And since when they conducted the election, I next chairman never come out to see anything regarding the electorate. He went into SI. He did not come out any interview that his attention is needed. He will send Festus Okoye, the National Commissioner of INEC. He will send that one down to different interview and different press conferences to go and stand there for him. And they begin to ask that one questions, intellectual questions of what happened in the course of the election. This man did not have a suitable answer, a good explanation of what really transpired in the course of the election. All he was hammering was that there was glitch in the course of the presidential transmission into high rev. Presidential results when they wanted to transmit into high rev, but uh, they said there were glitch. Which glitch are they talking about? Is it mechanical glitch or is it human factor glitch? INEC wasn't precise. So the European Union observer have finally come out. So something tragic happened. Nobody that I would like you guys to share this video. If you can share it, share it to different social media platform. And if you can share it, like it, give it a thumb up so that YouTube will recommend it for us. The European Union observer, when they came to Nigeria to observe Nigeria election, they gave INEC F9 parallel. They gave INEC total failure. They said INEC failed Nigeria in course of the election. We see everything in course of this video. Peter Obi brothers have finally come out to declare the fate of INEC Shaman. They said they are already working on INEC Shaman. What will happen to INEC Shaman will be far different from what is happening to M. Philly at the moment. They said INEC Shaman after the election, after the European Union observer observed Nigeria election, that was when INEC Shaman came out, Mama Yakubu. And he began to make press conferences. And in the course of that press conferences, maybe it was a slip of tongue, or I don't know. He said they are going to penalize all electoral fraud. All those people that are involved in themselves in electoral malpractice and all of that. He said they are going to work with EFCC and other law enforcement agencies just to ensure that 
they penalize all those people you know a lot of nigerians have been speaking on the fact that Ine chairman want to penalize people they said Ine chairman is the person that they're supposed to penalize first they said the government must penalize INEC chairman. Even Peter B. Brother said they said they need to suspend INEC chairman. The Nubu government need to suspend INEC chairman for proper investigation and prosecution. They said INEC chairman need to leave that his office. But they said the Nubu government may not be able to do it due to the fact that they benefited from the fraud that INEC did. That was what the guy said in this very video. So we didn't have like guys to stay connected to the end of this video just for you to hear it yourself from him. Obedient Stay connected, coming back again. <laughs> so, also, there's a position of the CBM government. It's also a position, it's constitutionally guaranteed a five year term. So, that is why well, I don't know the intentions of the president. That's why it cannot be removed and why they call it suspension. The same attitude can be, should be applied to the I mean, The MEC has done enough damage that uh, it merits, uh, you know being uh, sanctioned accordingly. Ideally, so many body who has committed the kind of gross abuse of office that INEC has committed should resign. But we are in Nigeria where, you know, uh, all things. Uh, so that of CBN and EFC will remain a selective approach to, uh, to justice uh, if INEC, who's, you know, uh, wrongdoing, actually has greater consequences, you know, for the well-being of the nation. Um, there is a point I, I would like to make, that, uh, please listen very well. Now, from all the Observer Group reports, what you may note, and even from Nigeria, among the majority of Nigeria, is a severe condemnation of INEC in all fated facets of it. Now, is it, the, is it not contradictory to expect that an agency that does stands condemned will produce a honest result? I mean, and is there something contradictory in saying that somebody is a thief? And then something is told and said, no, 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 it's not him has told the uh, thing. So this is a big conundrum or contradiction for us to establish. If Reineck is guilty as charged, that puts into contention and untenability of the results from that, from such a, you know, uh, uh, compromised uh, agency. The one was saying something about the Alec, uh, I mean, the resident electoral commissioner in Lava State. You can see the efforts being made by the authorities in Abuja in you know, quite an escapist manner, you know, trying to say they want to discipline. <laughs> when they are the father of all, all the wrongdoings, there's nothing that the direct, direct man in Adama has done that this INEC in Abuja has not done 10 times worse. So, uh, physician, you know, heal thyself. You are pointing at the bill in somebody's eyes and forgetting the love, you know, in your, own, uh, in your own eyes. So you see that, as I said, look, you can say we as parties, we as a party, we are partisan, right? So we have our reservations and criticism. But what about objectively independent organizations, both in Nigeria and outside? coming to a consensus that this INEC is not credible. If the INEC is not credible, how can we expect results emanating from that same group to be credible? So this is the reason I think they've done enough damage and uh, at the very minimum, China was saying that if he has any shame, he will have resigned. But if the president has political will, there are ways of going around that. It can be suspended from office just like the what they have done to the CBN government. So it's all the only thing required is political will to do the right thing. Uh, but being the beneficiary of uh, of my next uh, mischief, I, I wouldn't put it, I, I don't expect that. Uh, but the, the, the precedences 
you know, if you if in truly they are being honest with Nigeria. You remember the late president this tomorrow we had, you know, let me quite openly acknowledge that, you know, uh INEC and the results that were declared the lack of uh credit but they are not of and so he went ahead to appoint a set up an election review committee on large justice moment ways, you know, to move Nigeria towards uh, the objective of attaining uh, credibility in election management. And President Jonathan, who <coughs> loved Jonathan, you know, did a similar thing. You know, and so of course you remember that he didn't even wait for the elections to be concluded before doing what they do in established advanced democracies, and that is to save the country from trauma, from bickering, by calling uh, President Buhari to come and, uh, you know. So, and of course at that time, you remember the conduct of these same APC people. They went so far as calling for the formation of a parallel government. Yeah. So you can see the contrast in conduct, in the conduct of what we have today and what we have then. But more importantly, of course, is that it's INEC. You know, one of the problems of Nigeria is, is impunity. People will do wrong things, commit grievous offenses without any sanction. If this INEC, the chairman, are not, are not sanctioned, what will be the disincentive of future chairman of China not to do the wrong thing? After all, nothing will happen to you. It is fair to say that so many of our national problems have gotten worse because we, as a people, have not adequately risen to the challenge of effecting the right solutions when they recall to put them permanently in check. Given the extent of the fraud, impunity, conspiracy, deceit, financial waste, and democratic impediment orchestrated and effected in the 2023 elections, and the increased interest, awareness, and participation of our people in partnering practically to bring genuine change to our country at this time, it is imperative that we as a people do not again fall to the complacent hopelessness that has aided recurrence and deterioration, but that we pursue the required rectification and legal correction required to ensure that the will of the people, as expressed in 2023 elections, are firmly and rightly upheld. While it is often said that government or governance is a continuum, and the administrative formalities following the bizarre declarations by INEC have been put in place. The election today remains under legal contest and cannot be concluded until the legal processes have been rightly and judiciously exhausted. There is no doubt that these 2023 elections represent a significant and overwhelming watershed in our country's electoral political and development history. And at this time, the entire nation and the international community also stand determined to ensure that electoral fraud and the manipulation of the true will of the people will not stand. As the foundation for bad, go bad governance in the past, have been concretized by the acceptance of such illegality and conspiracy. Having concluded the iron stage at the presidential election petition court in Abuja, the attention of the people and the international community remains transfixed on the judiciary and with it the expectation that the glaring wrongs as documented by all observer groups, local and international, will be corrected for the good of the nation. We commend in particular without equivocation 
the courage, sense of focus and clarity of thought expressed by various election observer groups, local and international, that were duly accredited to monitor the elections. The Nigerian Civil Society Situation Room, the United States National Democratic Institute, and National Republican Institute, Joint International Election Observer Mission, the European Union Election Observer Team, Commonwealth Observer Group, African Union, AU, ECOWAS, and all other regional and local observers, observers, all deserve commendation. Their doggedness in field engagement, despite the onslaught of violence, inducement, manipulation, and all manner of evil as witnessed in the elections, we serve not only as an unbiased record of the tragic events, but as motivation for its logical conclusion and inevitable resolution according to the will of the people. In critically and broadly examining the independent reports of the various observer missions, the consistency in their experiences and exposition cannot be overlooked as each and every observer group underline the fact that the elections fell short of citizens' expectations, legal regulations, and moral and international standards. The Nigerian Civil Society Union, the umbrella group for the majority of national NGOs in involved in monitoring the elections, described ele the elections in its comprehensive report, and I quote, as a missed opportunity, a missed opportunity in Nigeria's democratic development. The further report reported that credibility of the 2023 elections was greatly tarnished by numerous pitfalls. The election suffered several lingering deficiencies in election administration, including inefficient management of permanent voters cards, PVC, PVC distribution, failure of operational and logistical arrangements, malfunctioning of election technology, inefficient handling of results management procedures, lack of transparent results collation and declaration process, and poor crisis communication. It further posited that yet on election day, Nigerians were deeply disappointed by the glitches experienced in the use of IRA. Situation room observed that election officials in many polling units were unable to access the IRF portal and to uphold results of the presidential elections. There were reports of election officials who either refused or were unable to uphold results. Excuse me. The, situ the civil society situation room also emphasized that no presidential election result was uploaded to the IRF portal as at 8 p.m. on the election day. In instances where upload occurred, the results were not legible or was defaced. Some uploads were not relevant as pictures of individuals or scenes on the location were uploaded. Going further to state that the seemingly high handed manner in which the chairman of INEC, who served as a national coalition officer for the presidential election, handled proceedings during the results coalition exercise, further eroded public confidence in the elections. The failure of the chairman of INEC to properly consider appeals for review of results from some states in the light of the malfunction of IRIP, as well as the apparent haste with which the pollution process was concluded in an unusual hour, provided the basis for some observers to question the credibility of the collateral results. Quote, and I, mean, I hope you realize that well, these are observations by the civil society uh, uh, in, in Nigeria. They, were, they are not my opinions uh, in the Nigeria democratic process. Those reports are an essential contribution towards strengthening Nigeria's democracy. We would like to point to, to point Nigeria's at this stage 
to the fact that the EU Observer Group report is in, time, is in tandem with the reports of other international and domestic observers, duly accredited by IMED and also in tandem with public opinion and the experience of the majority of, the majority of Nigerian citizens who participated in or observed the 2023 general elections. At this juncture, there is no doubt that Nigerians and the international community expect the judiciary to critically examine the evidence, the law, and the processes of these flawed elections in arriving at a legally correct and overwhelmingly acknowledgeable verdict. We urge the people of Nigeria, youths, elders, voters, and all citizens, to continue to follow the legal process patiently, keenly, and peacefully to a final resolution. It is now only logical, bolstered by the final observer group reports, that the international community take immediate and, and appropriate punitive action against Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, Barrister Festo Sukui, and other top administrative and field staff of INE directly complicit in the desecration of the results. We also demand unequivocally the immediate dismissal from office, of, from office and prosecution of Professor Yakubu and the commencement of forensic financial investigation into the expenditure of budgeted, dispos budgeted disbursement and donors' funds received by INEC, not least of which is the 300 billion naira appropriated from the National Post, as well as other funds and materials received from international donor agencies. Once again, we thank you, the media, for your continued dedication in reporting this extended resolution and Nigerians all over the world for their alertness and steadfastness. On February 25, 2023, we came out to draw the line and halt our country from the poultry domination of bad governance by voting for vision and for competence. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful verse. You can see the conference that those guys did in this very video. All those people with brothers, the party agents, they said everything in the course of this video. They said Tinubu cannot prosecute INN chairman. They're looking forward to how Tinubu will prosecute INN chairman the way he did to MFLA, the way he did to Bawa of EFCC. So they expected the same thing to happen to INEC chairman and they said they're already working on the processes that will make INEC chairman the person of Mamo Yakubu to be prosecuted, to be removed from office and be prosecuted at the end of the day. But they said because of the fact that Tinubu benefited from the things that INEC chairman did in course of the election or the fraud that INEC chairman did in course of the election, because Tinubu benefited from it, they said Tinubu will not be able to prosecute him. But they, they will put it upon themselves to make sure that INEC chairman is being prosecuted. Even the European Union observer, they said INEC chairman need to be penalized based on what he did because of the election. Now, they are looking out for election rerun now. You know, they said the news have been flying on me there for the past few days that APC are preparing for electoral rerun. They want to rerun the election that was conducted on the 25th of February. They want to reschedule it again according to the news. They said APC want a rerun, but Labour Party said they're not interested in any rerun because if INEC chairman is not removed, according to Labour Party agent, they said if INEC chairman is not removed as the chairman of INEC, if they allow INEC chairman, the person of Mama Yakubu, to conduct the election for them again, they said the person that have rigged the former election before will now re strategize again to rig the next election without any traces. It will rig it perfectly without any traces. They said if there will be a rerun at all, INEC chairman need to be suspended and prosecuted so that if another INEC chairman to enter that INEC post, that one will be scared of the fact that you should not play with Nigerian votes. But if Mama Yakobo is not prosecuted and punished, if any other INEC INEC chairman should enter the post, he will still even do the same thing or do worse than Mama Yakubu because he will be seeing the fact that the one that was there before wasn't punished for what he did. He himself will want to do more than even Mama Yakubu. That was what 
the Obi brothers in this video, the Obi agent, Labor Party agent, were saying in this very video, Obi, then what do you guys think regarding what they said? Did they really come for a rerun? Do you think APC will still win the election again? They said the INEC that is not credible. Even the European Union observers did notice that, according to their report that they fired on, they said INEC is not credible. They wasn't transparent in course of the election. So a credible organization cannot bring out a positive result, a credible result. That was what they said in this very video. So all trust and hope on INEC have gone to zero. And this same INEC collected 300 billion era plus from Nigeria just to conduct a suitable and a credible and transparent election for them in the name of the fact that they want to buy beavers, they want to mend their IRF portal and all of that. And that same money they collected, the Nigeria government gave it to them. And that same INEC is now making excuse on what they used the money to purchase. It is not that they demanded the money from Nigeria and Nigeria priced their market. No, Nigeria did not price it. They did not demand 400 billion for Nigeria. And Nigeria said, that, okay, we're going to give you 200 billion. No, it is not a price market this organization is a standard organization in nigeria that is respected and highly respected so nigeria gave them the money they demanded but that same INEC is it's unfortunate that INEC is now making excuse and they are arguing in court based on the beavers that they collected money to purchase and their irf quarter this is very unfortunate in nigeria today so with them, what do you guys think i like guys to drop a comment at the comment section of this video feel free to drop your opinion regarding what is going on in this country your opinion is your right and your opinion is highly rated as far as this channel is concerned so go on let's get that another for you make sure you watch out on this channel just to receive another update regarding what is happening in the political zone make sure you follow us on all our social media handles on facebook at live Watch tv and live entertainment on instagram at live on twitter at live and on thread at live guess so guys see you in my next video bye Pastor, where they do pass me, sir? Why you waiting for church?